Indonesian police say they have arrested the leader of the Jama Islamiyah militant group. Para Wijayanto and four others linked to him were caught in Jakarta over the weekend. Authorities say Wijayanto had trained with militants in southern Philippines and has been on the run for more than a decade. Setelah CIA dinyatakan bubar, dia dibayat sebagai Amir CIA yang ada di Indonesia. Sekali lagi rekan-rekan, CIA ini berbeda dengan CAD. CIA ini jauh lebih tua. CIA ini afiliasinya dia ke Al-Qaeda. And for more, let's cross over to Saifal Bari Ismail in Jakarta. Saifal, how significant is this arrest? Well, Steve, the arrest is significant because uh, Wijayanto is viewed as someone who is still very active uh, in the Jama'a Islamia and is able to influence and recruit others. Now, since 2013, Wijayanto has recruited and trained uh, members of uh, Jama'a Islamia's military wing, sending some to Syria to fight with extremist groups. Uh, Jama'a Islamia has sent six waves of people they recruited to Syria for paramilitary training and the funds used to facilitate the departures uh, came from the oil palm plantation business in Sumatra and Kalimantan. Now, under Wijayanto's leadership managing the business, he's also able to pay uh, senior officials in Jama'a Islamia well. These officials get between 10 million and 15 million rupiah. That's about 700 and 1,000 US dollars a month. This compares to Jakarta's minimum wage of only less than 300 US dollars a month. Now, police also said that Vijayanto communicated with terror networks in the Philippines and Al Qaeda affiliated networks in Pakistan and Afghanistan. Vijayanto is considered as an intelligent individual with 19 years of experience in the terror network who has complete skills intelligence, para paramilitary, bomb making, and recruiting. So then, um, Saifu, do you think that uh, Indonesian security forces still would view JI as a major threat? Jamal Islamia remains a threat because their grand strategy is still to establish an Islamic caliphate. Now, terrorism experts believe the fall of Islamic State may have left a gap for Jamal Islamia to rise again. Now, Jamal Islamia was banned in Indonesia in 2008 and was significantly weakened by a sustained crackdown by Indonesia's counter-terrorism police. But Jamal Islamia has never completely vanished. The terrorism experts caution not to underestimate the group. They believe it has been doing a lot of preparation work over the years. Uh, they have uh, not done any operations, but they are recruiting people, strengthening their knowledge, education, network and finances. Now, experts also believe Jamal Islamia's membership is back to around 2000, where it was before, as um, uh, uh, where it was before its most notorious attack in Bali in uh, 2002. Now the group is also careful not to push members to get involved in small violent actions. Experts also believe Jamaa Islamia is unlikely to mount a major attack anytime soon, as it could lose them community support. But the group believes deeply they have to be ready once the time is right for them to make a push for an Islamic state. All right, thanks very much. Uh, Saiful Bari Ismail there speaking to us from Jakarta.